Hi, I'm Chad. I'm the broker and owner of Homewaters Recreational Real Estate. And every client that we work with seems to have a question about the SEV or state equalized value on any given property. Uh, there are two things to keep in mind with the SEV. One is a lot of buyers want to think that that is the absolute end all be all in terms of what that property is worth. But it's important to keep in mind that that's a very objective number. Um, meaning the appraiser or rather the assessor in that area doesn't have the opportunity to see each and every property. And factors like water view, quality of frontage, uh, the way the home is situated relative to the water, uh, these factors aren't taken into account by any local assessor. So um, those are factors that are all very important to buyers and can really affect a property's market value. So when you're looking at SEV on any property, it's a general gauge, but don't don't necessarily hold it as absolutely true. What you really want to look at is recent sold comparable properties that your realtor can pull for you and make sure they pull everything within the last six months or so on anything similar and try to get as large a picture as you can. On a very unique property, you may have to go back a year, or even two years to try to find anything comparable and it can be a little more difficult to kind of nail down the exact value on those properties, but those comparable solds are your best gauge of value by far. The other thing that an SEV is important for is figuring out what your likely property taxes are going to be. Um, that if you're looking at a home to purchase and the current owner, uh, it doesn't really matter what they're paying in taxes. There's another number on the tax roll called the taxable value, and that only fluctuates 4 or 5% each year, regardless of what the market's doing. So if somebody's owned the property for 15 years, let's say, um, they're likely paying a lot lower taxes than what you're going to pay when you take possession of the property. Uh, that SEV is the number that you're going to pay once you take possession. So if you want to figure out the real taxes, Google the Michigan Property Tax Estimator. There's a website put out by the state of Michigan where you can plug in that SEV number, you tell it what county and what township or city the property's in, and it'll tell you exactly what the taxes will be based on that SEV. Now keep in mind, these properties are reassessed each year and the sales price of the property will come into account, but it's an average of the sales in the area. So that whatever you pay for that property isn't exactly going to be what your SEV is now going to be. It may affect it a little bit, but it's also going to be affected by all the other sales in the area, which may have been higher or may have been lower. So if you have any more questions, reach out to me. I can be reached at chad at homewaters.net or reach out to the agent or broker in your area for home waters by finding them at our website at www.homewaters.net slash agents. Thanks again for listening. Hopefully we can be of help to you in your property search. Bye-bye.